Hi guys, welcome back again. So today I'm going to show you how to do perfect contouring around your face and look and jawline and cover up this double chin. Yeah, I've been trying to do all kind of exercise to lose this double chin. What is exactly contouring? A lot of people don't know and uh, what we do, we see all the influencers and everybody is doing it but nobody properly explained to us. So let's do that. For contouring, you can use any dark color you want to, depending on your skin tone. So since so what I'm gonna do, I have already have a lot of foundation on, a little bit on the foundation on. So I'm gonna use that medium tint for the, for the beauty color. So any kind of contouring you're gonna use, depending on what brand you use, does not matter what whatever is suitable for you. So what you have to see, okay, what exactly are you achieving? You just want to have your natural look. You don't want to look too crazy. You don't want to make your cheeks bone very um, skinny. Your nose line is more important. Nose line and the jaw line is much more important. In my case, what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to show you what I'll do. A lot of people don't notice, like, since we had this little bit double chin right here, this area is very hard to cover. So what I'm going to do, you see how I put it here, in the line, and then make a block here. The reason I do the block here, because once I start doing makeup, and this is my line where I should not put any kind of light color on it. Because when I put the light color on, my skin tone and my neck is going to look heavy. The darker color on the neck, the reason we use it is to make your neck line and neck look very skinny. Next step is to my jawline. You see how flat it looks right here. So you can tell because since my neck is shorter here, so I have to make it look longer. So what I'm gonna do exactly on the bone, you just feel the bone right here and you cross it up to here. Mm -hmm. Second step, my cheeks bone. Since I have this chubby one, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go across. Every face is different. Every features are different. So consider yourself when you're doing it. Do not follow exactly what other people are doing. You have to monitor what you have exactly. So for example, put this line right here because I have to look skinny. So I did here because I have a double chin here. So I put the double line here. You just no, not above the line. You have to feel your bones. A very slow cross over here. Not too much because I don't want to give them look fake look. I want to be natural. Okay, don't laugh at it, but if you want your lips to pop out nicely on the picture, very little and tiny. It's gonna show you. So, last but not least, is my nose line. Okay, so nose line, what we have to do, we have to feel it, okay, how thick your nose is. You have to feel like if you have wide nose or you have very sharp nose. If you have very sharp nose, don't go too close. Make the distance. Like for example, if I have, for example, I'm just giving you, if I have a sharp nose, what I'm going to go, I'm going to go for lower lip, lower here. So I'm going to give the space a lot of space here. So it's going to make it look a little wider. But if you have very sh thick nose or wide nose and you want to look sharper look, what you're going to do, you're going to come more closer. Do you see the how I'm like? to you okay if people have a very wide face and they want to look more skinnier just go around like that way up now is a blending time how are you gonna blend it I always use one brush for it because my hands are very used to it and you go above position not lower Position. Yeah, make sure they look even from the both sides. And if you have a little bit extra, you put it out. The reason I put a little extra here because I have my cheeks are very thick when I smile, so it looks weird. Next step, I'm gonna go to the other side, going downward and backward. So it will cover my neck. You don't want to cover up everything. 
remember that you don't want to cover up everything you have to leave people has to see you have a neck and I careful you don't want to go upward you have to go downward position okay so what I do I use my two fingers very easily because my finger is actually following my bone so it gives me texture of natural looking. You see how I'm holding it? Exactly. You just hold and press it down so it will even and out. It's gonna make you look very natural. I use a little bit of concealer on. Here again, I'm gonna use my finger. I took it fingertips very tightly. Any kind of concealer you have, if you wanna put it on, just very low to give them highlights. Concealer basically what it's going to do, it's going to even the out the places. In the end, after you put in concealer, you use the same brush. Smudge it back so it looks even. You remember, on the bottom you have a dark one. On the top, you have a lighter one. I hope you like it. Good luck. Keep me posted if you have any further questions. Thank you.